To create a new API, click on the orange Create API button in the AWS AppSync dashboard. Next, we'll be given the option to either create an API from scratch or use a pre-configured example application. We'll choose Author from scratch because we'd like to start with a brand new blank schema. Next, we'll give the API a name and click the orange Create button. Once the API has been created, we'll be given some information about the API, including the API URL, the API ID, and the API key. In the left-hand menu, click on Schema so we can go ahead and create our GraphQL schema. In the Schema view, we can either create our schema from scratch or we can use the Create Resources flow, which will automatically generate our schema, our resolvers, as well as our data sources based on a single type. For this example, let's go ahead and click on the Create Resources button. Here, we can either define a new type or use an existing type that's been defined in our schema. For our example, we'll go ahead and create a new type of to-do. The to-do type will have an ID of ID, a title of string, and a completed of boolean. If we scroll down, we'll see that some additional schema is going to be created for us. We can see that we'll have three mutations, three subscriptions, and two queries that are automatically created for us. Next, go ahead and scroll to the bottom of the page and click Create. Once the resource creation is complete, we'll see that the automatically generated schema has been added to our schema view. Next, let's go ahead and click on Data Sources in the left-hand menu to view the data source that was created for us. Here we see that a DynamoDB table, a to-do table, has been created. To view the table, we can click on the resource name. Here, we can view the table information as well as any items that have been added to the table.